Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So in today's video I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 eyeshadow palette picks for this upcoming Valentine's Day which is literally less than a week away. So I basically went through my entire eyeshadow palette collection and I chose some palettes that would give me those romantic vibes that do fit the season of love perfectly. I really do feel like that the selection of eyeshadow palettes that I chose for today's video do offer something for everyone. There's a lot of variety in them, you know. I did not just want to solely stick with something that is exclusively pink or red, you know. I really wanted to give you a lot of options with this video. And I also don't want to encourage you guys to like buy any of these palettes. I just wanted to give you a little bit of inspiration. I mean, even if you're not celebrating Valentine's Day this year, you can always treat yourself with a beautiful eyeshadow look. Why not? And in case you do want to share a little bit of love with me, if you do enjoy the video or if you just find it helpful, why not give it a like? If you're new here, why not hit the subscribe button? And also, please don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos. And also, please don't forget to check out my description box down below because I'm going to be listing all of the products that I'm currently wearing on my face today and of course I'm also going to try and link all of the videos that I've done on these palettes if it's a long video format or if it's a short video so just make sure to keep an eye out on my channel especially on my shorts tab where I will be featuring a lot more Valentine's Day inspired looks coming up soon if there is a palette in today's video that I have not just featured yet it's gonna be on there over the next couple of days. But all right, before we are jumping into my top 10 picks, I just wanted to quickly mention some of these new releases that I've been seeing lately because some of them are definitely worth mentioning and they are also by brands that I have featured on my channel. So I am really, really intrigued for some of these and I quickly wanted to mention them just because I don't really have any of those apart from one that literally just arrived this morning and I'm also wearing this right now. So I would say let's just do a quick kind of like recap of all of the brand new releases and then we are gonna have a look at my top 10 picks. So the palette that is brand new that I'm actually wearing right now and just rest assured I'm gonna be posting looks with this palette very very soon. And I just had to play with it straight away because I was really excited for this one and it's actually the brand new Beauty Bay Reckless Romance palette and I really wanted to feature this palette because oh my gosh this color story let's have a look inside this color story really does speak to me we have some muted down sort of mauvey pink shades we also have a little bit of burgundy some plum tones i mean some lilacs and then we also have all of these cool tones you know we have some silvers we have some grays and we also have a pop of gold i really tried for today's look to go like the more pinky sort of like movie route with this look and i really got to say i'm loving this <laughs> this formula is the beauty bay formula that i love and adore now the mattes do blend out beautifully they are quite pigmented it was very easy for me to work with them and also the shimmers are really really stunning now this is a little bit more of a puttier formula so i would advise you to actually use your fingers to apply them rather than a brush you can always blend them out with a brush once they are on your eyelids but yeah, it is more of a putty, sort of creamy texture. In general, this palette leans a little bit more mid-toned, but we do have a brighter sort of color right here, which I do appreciate. And there are definitely some deeper tones, you know, to smoke up your look. So I feel like this is a very sort of romantic palette, yet it has a lot of punch to it. It has a lot of like smokiness, a lot of like glam vibes. I feel like for the price point, the quality that you're gonna get is really high up there. And I really have been enjoying Beauty Base formula for a long time now. And yeah, this is such a pretty palette. The packaging is also really beautiful. I've got to say that. So yeah, that was one of these newer releases that I actually decided to pick up. It just has arrived today. I wish it arrived a little bit earlier. So I could have maybe, if I end up liking it, included it in, you know, my top 10 and just rest assured more short videos are going to be coming up more looks are going to be coming up with this palette very very soon but all right that was the only palette that i have picked up out of the new releases so really quick let's just go through these brand new releases 
Another release that I'm very, very intrigued by, honestly, is this Glamlight Batty Boob collection, especially that eyeshadow palette that just screams Valentine's Day. It looks so pretty. I mean, this is a typical sort of like red pink, but also it has some variety in the palette. I feel like this color story is just very, very pretty. And I also do enjoy the Glam Light formula. So maybe, just maybe I might pick that palette up because it's just so, so pretty. A couple other like mansion worthy releases uh, is this palette by Wicked Widow Beauty, the Love Sick palette. This looks very stunning, a little bit more of a smaller sort of palette if you are into those. I think it's pretty. I think I'm just going to pass on this though because, you know, I mean, I can't pick up just everything, but it looks very pretty. Another one that I feel like really does scream Valentine's Day is the Colourpop Lost in Love collection, especially that eyeshadow palette. It looks very pretty. I mean, I'm not going to run out and purchase this. I don't think so because I just have recently purchased something else from Colourpop that is also about to come up on my channel. And then also there is the Bella Beauty Bar, that Roses palette. Now, I don't think I'm going to pick that one up just because I have a palette that is quite similar in today's video. And then another mention worthy new release, although I, I can't really comment on this because it's a mystery box, is by Unearthly. It's their Valentine's mystery box. I've got no clue what the color story is going to be like. I'm going to wait to see this color story. I mean, this is also quite a pricey mystery box, so I don't want to purchase something where I don't know if I'm going to end up liking it or not. But I do enjoy Unearthly Cosmetics formula so much. You have seen a lot of these palettes in my videos. So I just wanted to have mentioned those. So let's actually start off with my top 10 eyeshadow palette picks. So I'm not going to be ranking these. These are definitely not ranked. I'm just going to go through them randomly. So maybe let's just start off with a palette that I actually wore last year for Valentine's Day. And I do remember that I created a look on my shorts tab with this palette and I also posted it on Valentine's Day. So this is by Sydney Grace and this is their Enduring Love eyeshadow palette. So my palette by now is a little bit older but it's still going strong. And ever since I purchased this palette they have changed the pans from squares to round pans. Just be aware, it's still the exact same color story and everything, but just if you're seeing my palette, it is solely because I have an older version of this. Now, what I do enjoy about Sydney Grace in particular is the fact that they are always doing a light version and a deep version of their palette. So depending on your skin tone, you can choose from either one of them. I have chosen the light version for this. So let's actually have a look inside at the color story. So this color story definitely unites some neutrals, some pink, some purples with these stunning metallic foiled shimmer shades that I do love so so much. I mean I love everything about this formula. Sydney Grace has such a beautiful yet elegant sort of eyeshadow formula and I really do adore the fact that there are so many different ways that you can go with this palette. And also this color story does not necessarily lean on a lot of pink or red so it makes it very versatile for all year round use and you can just do some incredibly beautiful elegant sophisticated almost angelic looks with this without going like you know overboard on the color but you still have the options of add some colors especially with these satin shades right here the more metallic foil shimmers are definitely the shade john and devotion i think i wore this devotion shade all over my lids for last year's look and also most of the shade names were actually inspired by lovers in literature which i find like really original and i just I just love this, okay? This is something so timeless, so romantic, so beautiful. You can use this for so many different occasions. I mean, you could use this as an everyday eyeshadow palette, but you know, you could also create a very soft, glam Valentine's look with this. And I just think the quality is what really draws me to this palette over and over again. I just created some of the most stunning looks ever. And it's, again, one of my favorite color stories by uh, Sydney Grace. They have recently come out with a bunch of other, like, you know, love sort of themed inspired palettes. But I still think 
this is one of their greatest works. This is a really stunning one and it's a classic at this point in time. All right, so let's move on to my next pick and that one is by Unearthly Cosmetics. It's their Dreamer palette. So one of my latest videos was actually a full review on this entire collection and I just feel like this palette has something amazing to offer for Valentine's Day, especially if you are into this color story. This color story is really pretty. It is so just romantic yet like dark and edgy at the same time and you can do so many different looks with this. So let's have a look inside. It has an equal ratio of mattes and shimmers and we have some beautiful pops of pink, purple combined with a holographic shade, a kind of like deeper silver shade and also a beautiful sort of skin tone peachy shade. It is such a well curated color story and I just love the looks that you can create with this. The matte formula of Unearthly is just so smooth. These are buildable. I really love the setup of this. I love the formula. Their shimmers are out of this world, you guys. This shade, Dream State right here. Oh my gosh. This holographic shade, it is so, so pretty. These shades are all more on the warmer side, more on the neutral side. This is going to give you more of that sort of like a cool toned look. But I just feel like the variety of this palette is really there and it's just such a pretty one. And you can definitely create a super romantic sort of soft glam look with this for this time of the year. Okay, so my next pick is unfortunately by a brand that got completely discontinued. And of course, I'm talking about no other than the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette. This was such a diehard favorite of mine. And although this is no longer available, if you do have it, count yourself lucky and don't let it just like sit in your drawer and collect dust just because the brand does not exist anymore but this is just still such a beautiful palette you know to pull out for valentine's day if you do want to create something more ethereal more angelic something very very soft something very romantic because let's have a look inside i mean this color story this color story is so beautiful i mean these beautiful soft pinky, mauvey, neutral, matte shades, and then these shimmers. My palette is so old at this point, but these shimmers are still giving. And I'm sorry, I just have footage of an older swatch of this, and I don't think the swatches do this palette justice necessarily. Literally one of my all-time favorites that Aether Beauty has ever released. They had released a new version with a newer formula of this palette in particular, but I just feel like it can't hold up to this palette because the newer formula actually has dried out on me and it's almost like a crumbly mess at this point in time whereas this one is so old and it's still giving. So let's assume you are not really into cool tones but you want something like popping, something very vibrant, maybe something even a little bit retro. This one is most definitely for you. And this one is the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic Palette. Glaminatrix is an Australian based brand and this was one of their newer releases. I have not posted this palette just yet on my channel, but just stay tuned because I did create some looks that I'm going to be posting over on my YouTube shorts tab. And I've got to say, I am hooked. This palette is utterly stunning. So let's just open it up. I mean, these tones are so pretty. They are very vibrant. So this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette and this comes with seven special shades. Most of them are actually multi-chromes. There are also some duochromes, but there is also one traditional metallic shade in here. This palette leans a little bit more on the warmer side. It is not like a cool tone sort of movie palette. It really has some beautiful pops of like peach, some warm pinks in here, a little bit of like a warmer red brown shade. We also have these shades right here, which lean a little bit more like olive toned. For some reason, it's really giving me those like retro sort of romantic vibes. And also the formula is impeccable. I mean, this formula is so stunning. These mattes build up and they blend out like a dream. I had no issue with them whatsoever. And if you ever tried Glaminatrix Cosmetics Shimmers, you know that they are at a completely different league. 
These might be some of the best shimmers I've ever tried in my entire existence. And they are just so smooth. They are so creamy and buttery to the touch. And I just really, really love like the payoff. They are very vibrant. They are high shine. The shimmer that they have used in this is just so finely milled, yet it's so visible. And I just love that. And I also feel like it's a little bit more difficult to find like these like warmer tones with purples. And this is definitely something that is giving me that. And I just thought it would be fun to include this palette. However, if you love Glaminatrix shimmers and you don't want to use a palette like this by Glaminatrix, but you really want these like ethereal sort of eyes, I have not counted this one as a standalone palette. I kind of have coupled these two together because they are from the same brand. This is a palette that Oh my gosh, I freaking love this one so, so much. And we are talking about the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Fairy Lights palette. Now, this is a small six pan all shimmer palette. It's right here, but let me tell you, this is pure magic. <laughs> this is like fairy dust in a palette. So let's actually open it up and have a look at these beautiful shimmer shades. I mean, this shimmer formula is gonna knock your socks off. This is so foiled, so metallic, yet so special. Sparkly. I mean, the sparkles in this are just incredible, out of this world, magical. I freaking love the color selection in this as well. And guess what? I actually wore this shade right here, the shade Cracker, which is this holographic shade for New Year's Eve. So you don't have to necessarily like use this solely for Valentine's Day, but you can use this for whenever you want to shine. This shade right here, this shade and also this shade, I feel like these are perfect for Valentine's Day. I actually did create a look using some of my Blend Bunny Cosmetics mattes. Those are also the ones that I paired uh, my look for New Year's Eve with. I paired some Blend Bunny Cosmetics mattes because those are just my favorite mattes in the world. And then I topped it off with these shimmers. I bet you, you have some mattes somewhere. You don't have to use them necessarily, you know, in combination with the Rich Romantics, but if you do have both of them, you know, and you want to create like a super sort of like pinky, mauvey, kind of like Valentine's Day look, you could definitely do that if you don't want the multi-chromes in here because these are not shifty shades, okay? So if you don't want the shifty shades, maybe have a look at these because they are just so nice for any sort of like really festive sort of glam occasion. So let's continue with my next pick. And to be honest with you, I solely included this palette because I know a lot of you guys actually enjoy the brand, enjoy this formula, but I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not one of them. I don't necessarily think that this is the best formula in the world, but I know I'm pretty much in the minority with this opinion. And this is by Sigma and it's the new mod palette. So when this palette was released, I actually filmed an entire video on this palette. Uh, I also included a couple of looks with this palette. I'm going to link it in my description box down below. But just know in that video, I was already kind of complaining about the formula just a little bit. I'm going to get to that. But first off, let's actually open the palette up and let's have a look inside. So this is a 14 pan eyeshadow palette. We have seven shimmers and we also have seven mattes. So an equal ratio of shimmers versus mattes. Now this color story is really pretty because it combines neutrals with some rosy, mauvey, berry tones. We also have a pop of gold in this. In general, I feel like, although this is a little bit more of a muted color story, it is not that cool tone and it definitely leans more on the neutral side, almost like on the warmer side. I always feel like whenever I am using the Sigma formula, I'm not the biggest fan of their matte formula. Their matte formula in particular, it just goes a little bit patchy on me. And I've never really enjoyed it for that reason. I just think for the price point, you know, there is better quality out there. But that's just me. And I'm very much in the minority with this opinion. And I'm aware of that. That's why I still wanted to include this palette because I think you can have like so much fun with this for Valentine's Day. And again, it's quite a versatile palette. So although you have these like rosy, berry sort of mauvey tones right here, you also have some more neutral tones right here. And this shade vintage right here, this beautiful sort of taupey shade. Oh my gosh. I'm a huge fan of this one. This one is really pretty. And the shimmers are actually very decent, very elegant on your lids. They're really, really pretty. 
for me, it's just a problem with the mats. I also just wanted to mention, if you don't want to purchase this full sort of palette with 14 pants, they have released mini versions of their palettes. I think maybe with seven pants. I'm not sure how many pants are actually in there. I'm going to put a picture right here of that new mod mini version. And you can still get an incredible, beautiful, sort of like romantic look out of it. And yeah, I've got to admit, I feel pretty much alone with this opinion on Sigma. But I just want to keep it real with you, you know. But if you enjoy it, good for you. Pull it out for Valentine's Day. You may not be disappointed. I'm not going to use that one for Valentine's Day, but I still wanted to have included it in today's video though. All right, so let's move on to the next palette. And this one is by Bella Beauty Bar. It's the Smoky Glam palette. So when this palette was released last year, this immediately caught my eye because this color story, you guys, this color story is so, so pretty. Just have a look at this palette. It's so reflective. It's reflecting all of my studio lights in here. I apologize for that. But this is also something for somebody who likes selection. It's a little bit of a bigger palette, but nonetheless, I feel like it's so well curated. So let's actually open it up and let's have a look inside. I mean, this is giving you everything from Valentine's Day to like any sort of like festive occasion, even like, you know, for an everyday look, you could also use this. But what I really do adore about this palette is the fact that you just have all of these beautiful muted down mauvey, berry, pinky tones. And these tones are so, so, so hard to find. Bella Beauty Bar has an amazing formula. The mattes are quite pigmented, but they blend out like a dream. And the shimmer formula is incredible. The options with this palette are definitely endless. These shades are working so well in harmony with each other. And I feel like you can create a very like deep, dramatic look, but you can also create a very like cute, sort of soft look with this. And I just think this is such a pretty sort of color story to actually be pulling out for Valentine's Day. So let's move on to the next palette. And this palette is more like a budget friendly option, but it's by a brand that sadly has almost like disappeared. I mean, they are still available. You can still find this palette online. I'm not sure for how much longer, but it's still available at this point in time. It's just sad that this brand kind of went almost like quiet. Like there is not much like new stuff coming out by the brand. And it's such a shame because they have an amazing formula. And I'm talking about BH Cosmetics. This is the Passion in Paris palette. The City of Love. Of course, I'm going to feature this palette for Valentine's Day because this is actually such a good find for a very low price point and the quality of this is amazing. I mean, by now you might have already tried this out. Maybe this is in your collection. Just pull it out because you'll be surprised at the looks that you can actually create with this one in particular. This is so, so beautiful. So let's have a look at this color story. So this is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette and this combines tones of like some neutral peachy shades with lilacs, with some purpley shades. And when we also have like these beautiful berry red tones. And then we also have some really stunning like blues, some indigo shades, a teal shade, and also like a deeper brown shade to, you know, deepen your looks up with. And I included this color story in particular for those who don't want to wear any pink. So if you don't like pink, maybe try this one out because you could get some very interesting like looks with this. Now we do have like a lilac, but that is definitely more on the purple side. And this shade right here, this is such a beautiful duochrome, the shade Arc de Triomphe. So stunning. I love that one. And then you also have these beautiful sort of like more reddish tones. You could combine them, you know, with the indigo shades, but you can also combine them with the lilac shades. You can also combine them with these more neutral peachy shades right here. Or you could go like full on blue with this palette. You could definitely do more of an indigo sort of blue glam night out sort of like look with this. Not a brand new release. I mean, this has been around for a hot minute by now, but I feel like for Valentine's Day, this could be such an interesting color story, something a little bit different. And I honestly think this palette is really pretty. It gives me like some really romantic vibes combined with a night sky. I just really love it. I think it's a beautiful palette by BH Cosmetics and I really hope, you know, that they are going to be releasing 
hopefully one day more eyeshadow palettes like this one because the quality here was top top notch so my next pick is a little bit newer in my collection as well this is one of the eyeshadow palettes that i have picked up quite recently and it's also the reason why i'm not going to be picking up the bella beauty bar that roses palette because i feel like this one has a similar theming but it also has a little bit of a different color story and i do vibe with this color story a little bit more because i feel like it has more variety in the matte shades so i'm talking about the kema cosmetics skulls and roses palette kema cosmetics is a uk based brand and when i saw this palette on instagram i was like oh my gosh i want to try this out because this looks like vampy and sexy like a little bit more grungy you know so if you wanted to try out a palette like that this is top notch quality so let's actually have a look inside so this is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette it has an equal ratio of matte shades and of like stunning shimmer shades most of them have like a really incredible shift to them like some of these are multi-chromes some of them even have like more sort of like a glittery texture almost to them we do have some burgundy we have some popping red we also have some neutral matte shades and then we also have some pinkish berry shades in here and we also have a really amazing black shade in here now the shimmers are just so outrageously stunning most of them have more like a pink with like some golden shift to them but i have loved the quality especially of the mattes these mattes they are divine they remind me of the simply posh cosmetics mattes because they are so like buttery and creamy they almost blend themselves out this is just a beautiful formula and this was my very first time trying out this brand and I am really, really amazed at the quality here. But I really think this color story is definitely more on the like vampy, sexy sort of side. It's definitely leaning a little bit deeper in tone. However, I feel like there's still a great variety when it comes to the lighter shades in here. This one is also a little bit lighter. You know, you don't have to build these up to their full potential. So I think the ratio from light to deep is still there. And I just really enjoyed all of the looks that I have created with this palette. But yeah, it's a newer palette and I just think this is so beautiful. You know, it's something very different. And it's definitely, if you want something that is well curated, that has a lot of special shades, maybe try this one out. It's really good quality. I really do enjoy it. Another palette that I love dearly. And I feel like this has such a beautiful romantic color story. is by Odin's Eye, The Jewels and Gem palette when i got this i did not think i would love it as much as i actually do this color story is really where it's at this has again some of these beautiful muted sort of shades and i feel like this could be perfect for valentine's day so this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette it comes with eight mattes and seven shimmer shades those shimmer shades have different textures. Some of them also have a shift to them. I really have to say I had so much fun with this palette. I did post so many looks with this one. I barely could stop using this because I just had the best time ever with this one. Really, some of the combinations that I did with this palette gave me some of the most unique looks I've ever created. I think this is such a beautiful piece of makeup and I just think the color story here is what makes this palette so special, so unique. And again, if you don't want to use any like pinky tones, you still have the option to go a very different direction with this palette. And I just think this has so much to offer, so much variety within 15 shades. And I think it's just a very, very pretty palette and all of these shades do work so well with each other, you know. You can definitely not go wrong with this. And I think it's just such a great, great palette. The versatility is definitely there and it's giving me such cute romantic vibes and I love this one. Okay, so the last palette for today's video is actually maybe the palette that I'm gonna be using for this year's Valentine's Day look. And this is by Blunt Bunny Cosmetics. This is the Dollhouse palette. The shades and the tones in this palette are exactly what I'm personally vibing with. So let's have a look inside. And this is a palette that is going to give you so much choice, so much variety. And I just love the way this one is arranged. So this is a 30 pan eyeshadow palette. It comes with 18 mattes 
and 12 shimmer shades. Now these are all vertically arranged in a sort of gradient going from light to deep. Again we have this beautiful sort of more like honestly cool toned shades but also not everything is necessarily that cool toned in this palette. Also this palette is another one of those that almost is giving me a little bit of a retro vibe sort of color story. But you can go so many different ways with this. I mean, you can mix and match these or you can just literally do, if you don't know what to do with this, you can basically just use the vertical alignment of the shades and then create a look with solely these shades and you'll have a gorgeous look. The reason why I love this so much, especially for Valentine's Day, is because it just has these beautiful romantic sort of interesting tones and these tones again are very very hard to find now the shimmer formula of blend bunny cosmetics has come such a long way but i feel like this is a very elegant creamy buttery beautiful shimmer formula nonetheless blend bunny cosmetics makes one of my all-time favorite matte formula because it's so buildable these blend out with ease they would be so beginner friendly and I just feel like the variety in these tones, so pretty. I feel like this might be a palette that is a little bit more overlooked for Valentine's Day, but this one can give you such beautiful looks and you can just go so many different ways with this. And that's why I'm feeling the vibes with this for this uh, Valentine's Day. And I might pull this one out, to be honest, to create my personal look. I mean, the variety of this palette is really, really there and I truly, adore this so much but all right you guys those were all of my top picks for the valentine's season this year so do let me know have you tried out any of the palettes that were featured in today's video let me know in the comment section and tell me do you enjoy them do you want to pull them out for valentine's day or not and if not what are you using on valentine's day is there a palette that i have not tried out that is a must-have in my stash please let me know. I would really appreciate that. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos. And until next time, please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>